Hello my friends of Hatari Labs, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Olmo Todien and in this tutorial we are going to this is the tutorial for the installation of FreeWatt, the Modflow interface in QAS. So um, what are we going to do first? Uh, first you have to go here to the registration form. You will find the con the links of this uh, the links of this tutorial in the description below. Um, and on the content um, you put your name and so on and your email and then you will receive an email with the username and a password of one so once you have your the username and your password you log in i mean you you log well you log in here i already log i am already logged okay and here you will find um the executable the the plugin, some installation, some procedure, uh, like another file. There is some user manuals, and there are some. Yeah, the the user manual is pretty extensive. Like, and there are some tutorials, and there are even tutorials in Italian. Okay, so so far, I will download this, and as well, I will download this so you have to download both you have to download both okay okay i'm sorry this one yeah so i have already downloaded the free what version 1.1 and as well as the free what dev okay so the installation is pretty simple um uh, what are we going to do first i don't know what happens here okay uh here on downloads okay and then i just refresh okay here this is the free what 1.1 i just say i just struck this one and i will paste where i will paste it i will paste it here on users on my user and here i have the dot qis2 because actually free what only runs on qis2 because it's not ready for qis3 and then here in I go to Python and then I go to plugins. If you don't have any plugin on your QIS, actually this folder do not appear. So you have to make it, okay? But uh, it, I mean, just, I mean, you will see that if you install any plugin, this folder will appear, okay? And here you paste the zipped folder and then you extract here. Okay. This is the first. This is the first one, and then I del I delete it. Okay. The second one is that the other file, this one free one dev, you just uncompress here. Okay, and then you read the installation guide. Okay. In the installation guide, what they say that they say that runs only on QIS 2.3, then says that you have to read it. Then, um, okay, yep, yep, I have already, I have already done it. Yeah, so this is the free web. Then you look for the OSGO4 OSGO4 W shell. Then you with the right click you open in the location and then you you are sure that this executable are, is here on QS 2.18 and then you do right click and then you open as administrator. Okay. Okay, great. So you gave like the user preference privilege to your to your OSGO4W shell okay then you have to go where you have to go where your 
you have to go where your where your free watt depth is so actually you go cd no you just c no c oops c yeah you then you put gear and cd users here cd gida this is my username dear cd and my free what dev file is in downloads here and okay and then i go to the unzipped folder free what dev dear and then i just type installer but i since i work on 74 it will run the 74 but i don't know if it will re i don't know if it will rerun because i have done it so this package are already installed in my computer or it will rewrite them i don't know okay let me check okay and if you say requirement already satisfied because i had already all of this package but for your case like you will have to uh, for your case if you don't have it it will take longer okay so actually that's it okay this is all that you need for now and the last step on the free watt installation is to go to the plugins free watt install and then you have to insert a txt file that says installation done so just go here so just go c users like your username then qas then you go to python then you go to plugins then go to free what and on free what on install you have to insert a empty file new text document let's say install because by defect it will add the .txt okay in this I use notepad but you can open with wordpad as well and then say installation well, sorry installation done installation done okay then you save okay and then just to be sure here i just go to properties in order to see which is is the a txt file okay great that's everything so if i go here to uh, if I go here to QAS 2.18, I open. take a while okay remember that we are Hattery Labs what is Hattery Labs? Hattery Labs is a blog dedicated to the knowledge sharing and open source software so if you like to get in touch with open source software uh, for GIS and for water resources please visit our blog our blog is hatterylabs.com uh, mm -hmm. And then you can go to our blog we have a facebook and a twitter account and as well we have our newsletter and then we have online courses as well if you want to take one of our courses and many many tutorials that you can search for our tutorials here most of the tutorials is in hydrogeological modeling okay let's see if and then you can subscribe to this youtube to this youtube channel as well Okay.
I don't know if it's, it has crash or no. Okay, I will launch it again. Yes. Maybe with the grass, just to make it different. Okay, great. Okay, I have one. And so if you go to plugins, then you go to install plugins. Then you go to install plugins and then it will appear here free what okay and free what is as well here and then you can download you can start to to learn more about and for this the documentation is quite good so you can start you can start to know more to know more about this tool and how to do like uh, how to run the model, wh where do you put the model, how to run the farm process, and how to do transport properties or like uh, to, to run particle tracking and so Okay, so it was nice to bring you this tutorial. Uh, hope to s that I hope that you like it and see you in coming tutorials. So bye bye. Bye.